by a hormone called insulin which is secreted from the pancreas and uh, now there are two types of diabetes it's called type 1 and type 2 type 1 diabetes is in your pancreas does not make any insulin and uh, this is seen most commonly in children and young adults and there the problem is pancreas suddenly just stopped working could be due to a viral infection or it's because you make antibodies against the pancreas which will destroy your pancreas so these people are we used to call this group insulin dependent diabetes because they have to survive they have to live, they have to take insulin for rest of their lives and the second type is type 2 diabetes it's because they have insulin their pancreas secretes insulin but that insulin doesn't work well in the body uh, it's called insulin resistance right and then after a while you make you can't make any more insulin because it, that insulin doesn't work and uh, then they they start to make lesser and lesser amount of insulin and at that point the sugar starts to go up but if you are detected early before you at the time of insulin depend uh, resistance you can treat this group to prevent diabetes um, but once you start to make lesser amount of insulin your sugar starts to go up and then at that point this 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 is type 2 so they require medications and uh, they also they can require insulin after a while when they don't make enough insulin and uh, after many years of taking tablets they also require insu uh, insulin but the two groups are uh, type 1 and type 2 and type 2 is of course more genetic uh, uh, it's due to genetics usually there is a strong family history of parents siblings or even grandparents having diabetes whereas type 1 uh, there is no uh, uh, like a genetic predisposition for type 1 diabetes now asian countries we tend to eat more starch uh, than proteins and other things whereas now in European countries and in American countries they eat a lot more meat and they are for more proteins and they have very little starch in their diet even if they have rice or potatoes they have very little uh, starch they have more vegetables and a big plate of uh, chicken or whatever meat they eat whereas in Sri Lanka we have a lot more starch we have a big plate of rice with very little vegetables and very little proteins and earlier this was fire it worked well for people because the people were physically active but now the newer generation or, or even now the present generation they are not at all physically active and their lifestyle is that they are at a desk most of the hours and unless they go for a physical exercise their job doesn't make them walk or get any kind of exercise and therefore this amount of starch that they eat ends up uh, breaking down into glucose and the, the risk is more for uh, developing diabetes.